Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the microphone in the Asus PadPhone X Mini. Now just to show you, to clarify, this is for the phone, not for the tablet part of it. This repair is for the phone part. Now in order to do this procedure, we're going to have to replace the whole logic board because it's built into the board unless you're good at soldering. I'll show you more in, later in the video what I mean. So first of all, before we get started, you want to make sure that your device is powered off. And then to remove the back cover part, there's a little notch right here. You can put your thumb right in this notch. And you can just pry up. And the back cover comes right off. To remove the battery, all you need to do is pry in this corner right here. This little notch right here and pry up. And the battery comes out just like that. Make sure that you remove any memory cards or SIM cards if you have them in as well. I'll include a link in the video description for any of these tools that I'll be using during this or any parts that I'm going to be using for this repair. I'll include links for them in the video description as well. So next you will need a Torx T5 screwdriver. That's what size this is, T5. And you'll need to remove these 10 screws all the way around. They're all the same size. So now that you've removed these 10 screws all the way around, now you can pick this phone up and go ahead and you just pry right up here in this top right corner and this back cover comes right off. So next what we will need to do is remove these connectors over here. Now I, have, I just have a tweezers here, you can use whatever you want. And you'll need to peel up under this part and slide this straight out like this and then you can tip it up. And then this connector you'll have to remove this tape and I would recommend just setting it on the side here like this and then you can pry up on this little connector and then pry straight back and you can pry up on this connector right here just bend that back so next what you need to do is just pick up on this back part here and it may seem a little resistance but it's just a little adhesive under there and then this logic board comes out just like that to change the microphone unless you know how to solder some joints here you will need to replace this whole board assembly. So in order to do that you will need to change this rear camera over onto the new board and this front camera over onto the new board and probably this rubber for the microphone here. Front camera what you'll need to do is just pry up on this connector right here on the black part flip it straight up so it's like a 90 degree straight up and down and you can just pick up on this front camera and slide it straight up and then the front camera comes out just like that. So to reinstall, grab your new camera and just set it down in there, slide it in all the way and you can go ahead and press this black part of the connector back down make sure that's sitting down and you're all set. Rear camera, what you will need to do is pry up on this connector right here, this black part and then you can pick up on the camera and just kind of pull it straight out this way and then the camera comes out just like that. So to reinstall camera, just grab your camera and s slide it down in here into the connector. Make sure that connector pries down. And you can just push it through the hole here. There you are. You may need to also swap over this cable here if your new board doesn't have it. So just check around and make sure there's nothing that you missed. So to reassemble, just grab your board, set it down in here. Just make sure that everything lines up and it just kind of snaps right into place. It has little things where it sits on to guide it into the right spot. Make sure that your rear camera is sitting right and then you're ready to start reconnecting the connectors. So next you want to go ahead and reconnect this connector. You can just push it down till it snaps in firmly. And then this middle one is a little tricky, it's a little stiff. You have to kind of pull it back and get it started in there. Make sure it pushes all the way into that white line. Then you can go ahead and push down this white part of the connector so it's straight down. And then we'll need to do the same with this connector. This one has a little bit more, more flex to it. Make sure that that gets in there right. Just push it in all the way and then push down on this black part of the connector right there. And then go ahead and peel this yellow tape back up that you had and put it right over top of this connector again. 
Just make sure it's pressed down nice. Next what you'll need to do is grab your back cover. Just set it on like this and just make sure that it's sitting down nicely all the way around. And then go ahead and put your 10 screws in all the way around. To reinstall your battery, just grab your battery. You can see where the contact points are on the battery and where the connector is on this one. So you just slide it in there and push down and you're good to go. If you have any memory card or SIM card, you'll want to reinstall them before you put the back cover back on. And then to reinstall the back cover, just grab your back cover, set it on here, and just work from like top to bottom all the way around. Make sure that everything's back in the way it's supposed to be. And just check the crack all the way around, make sure that it's snapped in right. And you're all set. Thanks for watching.